G'day everybody, this is a special recording with myself, uh, Emmett, Nichols, Morgan, Amy and Holly are all in the studio as is Cohen Van Sambeek on Keys. Um, basically, you might have heard, uh, Impromptunes was nominated for Best Comedy Podcast Woo-hoo! at the Australian Podcast Awards, which is super exciting and we're amongst some other randoms like Hamish and Andy, Tony Martin, Dan Illich and Dragon Friends. So we're doing a little tribute song to honour our fellow nominees and um, we actually actually reached out to all of them and asked for a suggestion of what to include in our song, which could be interesting. Um, so, Morgan, I'm going to get you to sing about the Dragon Friends podcast. It's Perfect. a D&D uh, comedy, comedy ah. type vibe. Um, and they said to let you know that Dragon Friends is about the adventures of Filge, Frizo, Baston and Bobby Pancakes, who are an orc, high elf, human and halfling, respectively. I understood all of that. Now, the thing you might not know, listeners, about Morgan is that he loves D&D, don't you, Morgan? I do. I love D&D. So I'm sure he'll remember every time. I wish I was playing it right now instead of being here with you guys. <laughs> so that's Filge, Frizo, Baston and Bobby Pancakes. Do you think Dragon Friends has an opening? Because I could get on them instead of they're doing this one. Whoa, let's just whoa, focus whoa. on. <laughs> um, let's see who wins the award first. Yeah. <laughs> Holly, you'll be doing a rational fear, a play on irrational fear, I imagine, by uh, by Dan Illich. And Dan has asked us to please mention anthropogenic anthro anthropogenic climate change. Oh Which do you know what that is? Uh, I think it means uh, human-made <laughs> stuff. So I guess human-made climate change. Yes, I did Google that earlier. Um, <laughs> um, yours, Amy, is Sizzle Town uh, by Tony Martin. He has a sound technician by the name of Matt, who's a legend. Now it's a talkback show, and Tony has asked, "Could we mention his?" cat translator, which allows his cat, the Pikelet Man, to call in and do tallback. Tallback? Um, so we've had a mention of Bobby Pankers and uh, some sort man. of Pikelet cat. So there's definitely a theme of flipped fry pan goods. And of course, my I'll be just taking the Hamish and Andy verse. Now, Hamish and Andy, we reached out to through several means, uh, Facebook <laughs> message, uh, <laughs> Facebook post, Twitter uh, message, Twitter post, and Instagram, and their response, uh, well, we're still waiting on the response, so I might have to improvise that one. God forbid. I know. So here we are. We are going to be doing the best comedy nominee song. Thank you, Cohen Van Sambeek, for your lovely tunes. Once every year or so there comes a special time When people all around can submit And if you are the chosen you might just survive And you'll know that you never can quit The Podcast Awards The Podcast Awards They can't be ignored the Podcast Awards The Podcast Awards The Podcast Awards They can't be ignored At the Podcast Awards Dan Elich will get you listening longer If you listen, if you're a guest, then you're a fear monger Don't be afraid, it might sound strange But he wants you to know about anthropogenic climate change (laughs) (laughs) And when you're feeling superlative You know you just need to go roll for initiative With your best friends who aren't dragons but fight dragons With Phil, Frizo, Best and Bobby Pickett The Podcast Awards The Podcast Awards They can't be ignored It's the Podcast Awards If you're feeling Oh, so down, then just turn on an episode of Sizzle Sizzle Town. It's full of lots of really great chats and even a translator to make you be able to hear cats. And hey, Mish and Andy, Australia's favourite friends. I 
don't know a lot about them Cause they didn't slide into my DMs The Podcast Awards The Podcast Awards You know that you're going to go to the North At the Podcast Awards But there's one more competitor that you must be aware of The finest of them all when they go for those awards, you know they will take the whole store. If you haven't heard of them, then you gotta know them soon. You gotta get yourself a fix of improv. The Podcast Awards! The Podcast Awards! They can't be ignored! The Podcast Awards! The Podcast Awards! Impromptunes, tunes, impromptunes, tunes, impromptunes, tunes, imprompt. Do you hear the people improvise? Improvising! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Impromptunes, the completely improvised musical podcast. Please give it up for your MC! G'day listeners, this is your host Emmett Nichols. It is such a treat to be back in the studio for the longest time we have been living under burrows, living in shelters, and we are back in a studio 1.5 metres apart from one another, and in the studio, not in arm's reach, Holly James. No, uh, hello, I would say I'm three metres from you, <laughs> so doubly safe. We've actually redesigned the studio over the break, and it looks schmicko, so maybe we'll put some pickies up. Holly, um, your idea was to put, uh, do you want to tell us about your latest innovation? Um, soundproofing. Yep, she came up with that. <laughs> um, the royalties are amazing. So, um, actually, our Patreon money we put towards some soundproofing. So we managed to uh, do a little bit of crafty, crafty DIY. So that's uh, coming along. Yes. Yeah, so there's one bit up, and there's three to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just need a few more patrons. <laughs> All right. We also have Jackie in the studio. Hello, Jackie. Hello. How are you? I am excellent. Good. And you? I'm very well. Very happy to be here. Yes. Yes. Someone Somewhat overstimulating, but in a good way. It is, in a very good way. Good. Yes. <laughs> um, I would love to be described like that. Uh, so if you ever want to describe me, you can describe me like that. Overstimulating. In a good way. <laughs> uh. So, um, <laughs> look, we are definitely uh, red hot and ready to go with some improvised rhyming, comedy, characters, stories. We make up whole musicals on the spot, and we do it all the time, normally. So uh, we're going to make up a musical for you today with the amazing finger-playing madness of David Peak. <laughs> finger-playing is what he's doing right now. You guys provide the suggestions. Thank you for providing some suggestions over the break. We have a whole arsenal ready to go, but you can post them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram if you want to give us some more, and we will make a musical up based on your suggestion. We write them down and put them in something called the Bowl of Destiny, and I am putting my hand into it now and drawing out at completely random the title of today's musical, which... Oh, that was exciting. <laughs> I dropped the paper. Did I pick up the same one? <sighs> this episode is going to be called Dad is in Lycra again. <laughs> and the suggestion was given us to us on Facebook by Chris Nichols, who I assume is my dad, <laughs> um, who wears a lot of lycra. What a nice thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like I wrote this title. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, do you have much experience in the way of lycra? Well, yes, I grew up as a dancer, so I wore a lot of leotards oh. and the such like, oh. um, but not cycling lycra. Jackie? Yeah, that's right. Bit of dancing. My dad has sported the lycra as well, Ooh. so I, I feel like I you could contribute it. here. Yeah. And I totally I understand. And Holly, I know that you used to work at Lululemon. I did. Um, is lycra a product that is popular these days? Yes, it's stretchy. Oh. Um, <laughs> actually, Hayden uh, is also in the studio and is uh, showing us some... Very good lycra pictures, onesies of lycra, oh uh, which God. I'm definitely into. Which will be available on the Impromptunes website <laughs> shortly. Impromptunes lycra onesies. <laughs> I actually just had a flashback. Um, I've been using a lot of Marco Polo in 
uh, isolation. If you don't know what that is, it's an app where you like communicate via little videos. Yeah, and a right. friend of mine was just chatting and then their dad busted in completely topless and just wearing these lycra pants. And they were like, <laughs> what are you up to? And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> um, and also Teresa Ewan is uh, helping out in the studio as well as Morgan Technical Wizard Phillips. So for the first, last and only time, dad is in lycra again. There's a fat bottom girl and she's riding fast She's hoping her fat bottom just won't last There's a little kid on his tricycle Where anything and anywhere is possible There's a mum in Lycra and she feels great She thinks she's gone from a six to an eight there's a manly peloton riding by They wave at all the cars and say goodbye What a chump There's a truck Oh, they're causing such a dump There's a skateboard What a bore When you're on a bicycle You'll feel so much more You'll feel so much more When you're on a bicycle When you're on a bicycle Bicycle Bring, bring, bring. Ah, Mary, we set a new record today. Ah, oh, we did, Dave, didn't we? Yes, my Garmin was uh, clicking and my Strava ride just peaked. <laughs> I could absolutely tell you were just flying, Dave. Yes, I was. I uh, After that Thunderton Hill, I did catch a little air. Did you see that I parabola <laughs> Down. I didn't actually make any surface with the road until that blissful moment. <laughs> Dave, I absolutely did see that and it really inspired me, but I'm just not quite there yet. Oh, Mary, one day, one day, my love, you will be. I will be. Thank you for always just believing in me. Thank you for marrying me, Mary. <laughs> you know, I was just a pimply, snot-nosed kid before you fell into my arms by, quite by accident. <laughs> I, Do you remember? Oh, <laughs> I did. I just love this story so much. Oh, you tell it then, darling. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, <clears throat> we were in our childhood, childhood neighbourhood. of... Yep. Yes. Of uh, 22, 22 Park, Park Street. Street. It's weird that we had the same address. <laughs> I know. There was a du- duplication <laughs> on the old mailboxes. I was obviously 24, but... That's right. We were 22. We were 22. And, um... You know, we both got new bikes for our birthdays. Yes, same day. <laughs> That's right, the 22nd. <laughs> yes, of January. Of January. And um, we both popped out to go on a new ride and, you know, we could really feel that life was really opening up. And anyway, as we rode our bikes... Our wheels collided. They collided. And you fell off and basically saved my life by kind of cushioning my fall. We sort of met in midair. And then lost all our velocity and then slumped to the ground, eyes locked. 
and tyres locked. That's right, and like, my leg was broken, but... My I heart didn't... was not. And we've never unlocked tyres, legs, or <laughs> eyes ever since. Ever since. I love that story. You pump my tyres, Mary. You pump my tyres every day. You make me go higher, Mary, in every single way. You make my wheels spin fast. I can feel my heart flutter and flutter. And I could sing like my bike bell. You and I together. Together forever in a perfect cadence You and I together, together forever You and I You and I together, together forever in a perfect cadence You and I together, together My puncher, a packet. You're my lycra, I swear it. You're my favorite lubricant. You make me feel like a giant. You and I together, together forever in a perfect cadence. cadence. You and I together, together forever. We need to talk. Uh, what's the matter, Sally? You look really distressed. Why? Today at 3.15 did you have to ride past my school in your matching lycra outfits, oh. singing the song of love to each other that you always do? Could you not drive past at 2.15? Could you not come at 4? No, you have to come at 3.15 when the school has just let out. Oh, you know, Sally, that uh, 3.15 are our bog lap times and uh, it's kind of expected of us. We are the uh, top two cyclists in the neighbourhood. Do you have to wear matching outfits, though? Do you have to come past my school? Look, Sally, one day when you fall in love, you'll know what it's like to match outfits with someone. It's an in integral part of, of a physical representation. Do they right. have to be skin tight, though? They well, do. They, well, sweetie, they do. Yeah. You know, that's what love is. It's wearing tight, bright, similar clothing. That's how we show the world that we are one. You don't want to have anything other than yourself. Like, we would ride around naked if we had to. Would you like that, Sally? No, I wouldn't like that. Exactly. We're, we're putting together the minimum amount of modesty to not dampen our love but to protect our dignity on your behalf. Oh my goodness. And sweetie, I think, that, I think you should feel proud. Like, your father and I are representative of societal love oh, and it's so rare, I love it when you get it's like so this, Mary. Rare. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is rare. Do you know what? Most people's parents don't go to restaurants wearing lycra outfits. Most people's parents don't take them to dance class wearing their own lycra outfits. And most people don't have their dog also in a matching lycra outfit. Oh, but ooh, Fifi ooh, loves ooh, to wear ooh, lycra. Ooh, Look how fast ooh, she is. Ooh. Well, I'm sure you'll understand, Sally. You obviously don't know what love is. Oh, well, if this is love, I hope I never, ever experience it. Well, <gasps> careful what you wish for. Oh, she doesn't mean that, Dave, does she, darling? Oh, dearest, dearest Mary Poopikins. I'm sure that she does. I did as well when I was... Merely 15, like she. Oh, but we have so much to teach you, sweetheart. We can only hope that she'll ride her own bicycle one day on her birthday and collide directly into someone and lock tires and eyes and limbs with the perfect man or woman of her dreams. And then they'll be together forever, just like you and I. You and oh. I together to oh. get. Oh, sorry, Sally. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Oh. Did you. Are you. Now. 
perhaps it could be really good that, you know, every Sunday we come together as a family and we talk about the things that are really tricky. And maybe we should just push that forward. I, I mean, it's only Tuesday, but you seem really distressed, sweetheart. And yes. Maybe we need to have a really good conversation about and, and it. And you know what? I will take off my lacquer for this conversation. No, and oh, so will I. I will be completely <laughs> naked, bare, bare and honest and not a hint of dis- disguise. Just all raw emotion. See you at home, dear. <laughs> bring, 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 bring. <laughs>
Yeah, and they're my parents. You can't imagine what they're it feels cool. like. They're cool. They're so they're so reckless with their <laughs> abandon, you know? They just don't give any You think things. they're cool? I think so. What else do you think is cool? Well, I think physics is cool. <laughs> I guess so. What else? Chemistry. <laughs> the way that two atoms come together and combine. I think it's cool. Right. Two atoms or two people, you know, like that. Go to our high school. Sure. A positive and a negative can sort of count each other out. Okay. And if one boy met a girl, he could try to ask her out in the same way. Chemistry between you and me. It's chemistry. Dee dee dee. <laughs> chemistry between you and me. It's chemistry. Dee dee dee. And when I say between you and me, I mean you and I confiding. I'm not suggesting that we do any law unabiding things like, you know, philandering. You and I just going out and giving it a try. I'm talking about chemistry, chemistry. between you and me. Talking about chemistry. Chemistry. Dee -dee -dee -dee. chemistry between you and me. Talking about chemistry. chemistry. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Do you know any studies? Maybe I could be your buddy. We could share a lesson or two. I'd love to get to know exactly what you know. You could teach me a thing or two. A thing about chemistry between you and me. It's chemistry. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Chemistry between you and me. It's chemistry. Dee -dee -dee -dee. What do you know? I'm more of a humanities girl. Oh. I take social sciences for a whirl. Wow. Chemistry, well, that's not really my thing. Neither is your hair, twink, twink. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I don't have a lacquer hat like you. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I tell you what, I like that lacquer cravat too. Gosh, I left it on. <laughs> But chemistry between you and me, we could have chemistry. Da -dee -dee -dee. Chemistry, dee dee dee. Chemistry with you and me. Hi, someone seems a little perky. Hi, Mum. Hi, sweetheart. Have you had a change of heart? About lycra? No. Oh. Look, I know that it's really tricky for you, but you will understand one day, I promise. And then you'll come to me and you'll be like, Mum, I've met a boy and I need all your lycra. I just can't wait for that day. Well, Mum, I have met a boy. And you need lycra? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need, sweetie? I need to talk to you because, Mum, he's really cute and he wants to teach me about sciences and I'm going to give him some social studies help. I need something from you, Mum. Sweetheart, anything. Don't mess this up for me. <laughs> I... That's all I'm asking, Mum. Sweetheart, you know that I would try my best not to be myself <laughs> when I meet him, but why don't you tell me what I can do, you know? What are you... I'm a cool Mum. What, what do you need me to do? Well, it'd be asking a lot, but... Never ride your bike again. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I think we need to find a compromise, sweetheart, because me on my bike with, with, my, with my hubby, that's everything. But Brandon, I think he might be my everything, Mum. And you on the bike is getting in the way. So you've got to choose. Is it you, Dad, and the Lycra? Or is it me and my chance at love? Never thought you would come between my lycra and me. I never thought this day would come. Mum, you've got to understand, when he takes my hand, I feel something. Mum, you've got to try for me, please try. I'm not trying to hurt you, trying I to come between you, just trying to find something. Together forever in a perfect cadence. cadence. You and I together, 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 
on my chemistry paper. And I got a C for humanities, but I was on an F, so. (laughs) It's a really good improvement. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I just feel like Putin. (laughs) How is that? Well, you know, when he upset the uh, Russian patriarchy. (laughs) Have you done history? Like I said, I was getting an F. (laughs) I see. Well, look, this last six months studying with you has been amazing. Do you ever... Miss the flake with the hundreds and thousands. I didn't know that was a thing. You know, you just hear that music, usually green sleeves, and then you just get whatever you want. I miss that. We're talking about ice cream. Well, that's what I'm talking about. It seems like you're coming to the party now. (laughs) I don't miss it. Why? Uh, I don't know. Just getting nostalgic, I guess. You know that green sleeve song? It's like... That's not Green Sleeves, that's my parents' love song. What? No. Yeah. No, it's like... Oh, no, I was thinking of your parents' love song. I guess it does feel a little bit like something that um you were so used to hearing and kind of made you smile even though it was really dorky yeah and seeing your dad gain weight on the biggest loser was really sad (laughs) you know he was like i haven't been on the bike for six months but it was just the whole season last night and he just gained weight and i I haven't seen i'm surprised they're doing biggest loser in a whole night but you know these are strange times people want content and then actually now you say it, you know, Dad's putting on weight and I haven't seen Mum smile in six months. Well, she always puts on a plastered smile when I come round. Brandon, would you... When you first... Oh. I've got it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you said I could keep it and I just... My lycra. Yeah. You've been wearing it this whole time? (laughs) (laughs) And now I stand before you completely naked. (laughs) Look. And I've got no more secrets. Brandon, I've got something to tell you. I was so afraid that you might not 
feel chemistry with me if you saw my parents for who they really are, but it was me who was afraid to see them as they really are. Naked? Well, in lycra and naked or singing or whatever it was. And now I feel really ashamed that I stopped them from being who they wanted to be because I was afraid of what you'd think. You know, I think the world of you, you remind me of the Babylon Gardens in ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. You know, it's a wonder and it will always be a wonder. And you know what? I'm going to be here, but right now you've got a job to do. Here, take my BMX. Thanks. (laughs) Lycra on. Thanks, Brandon. I'll see you in six months, if not sooner. I think this will only take one conversation. It's like a biggest loser season. Ding dong. Wait, Olivia. Mum, Dad. Yes, Uh, Olivia. uh, Dad, oh my God. uh, You really are a couch potato. Yeah, I've been eating Mr. Whippy all the time. All the time, sweetie. He's just, it's not good. Mum, your face is heading downwards because you don't smile anymore. I'm fine. I smile all the time. We're just happy for you, dear. I'm so happy that you're happy. It's great. No, wait. I regret. What do you regret, Dad? I regret those 5 a.m. rides waiting for the boys. No. Those cafes, coffee strips after where we all sit around and clopping in our cleats. (laughs) We're like cowboys who have no idea. I regret all of that. No, Dad. Wait, I need some. I have something I need to say to both of you. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Huh? What? You... I'm sorry that I took your favourite thing away. Because I'm your family, and I should have accepted you for what you are, which is amazing and hilarious and kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but you're great singers, and you're in love, and I'm really lucky to have parents that love each other. So, I'm sorry. And Dad, Mum, well, Mum, here's yours. You've still fine. Dad, I got a new one made for you because of the Biggest Loser shenanigan. <laughs> I'll fit into my old one in no time. They're matching like wow. suits. Thank you, Sally. Yeah. Let me remove this three-piece tux that I've been wearing ever since you said I had to wear clothes. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, your nudity. Sorry. And let me take off this cotton dress. Oh, my goodness. The freedom. Wow. And don't forget your lycra hats. Dad is in lycra again. Dad is in lycra again. We're turning, turning back to ourselves. Dad is again Dad is in like again Mommy is too Dad is in like again Oh yeah, look at you We're turning, turning into ourselves again Oh yeah, oh yeah We're in like again. again Sally, what's that you're wearing? <laughs> oh guys Sally, Sally is in like again It's good to be back Again for the first time And I'm feeling pretty slick And you look Oh, like watch me put on these short little shorts I think that you might call them Nicks <laughs> We're all in like her again We're all in like her again We're turning, turning into ourselves again We're all in like her again We got a pair of randoms We're riding a pair of tandems Down the street today And look at all these people who are coming and joining our ride with us Hey, hey. Let's get it, get it, get it on We're turning to a family peloton And I'm gonna tell you why right now Baby, you know it, you know We're all in like a
Lycra again. And if you Lycra what we're putting out, give us a like on whatever medium you're listening to it on. If there's a like function, if not, you can love, share, donate, or review us. <laughs> All right, Holly, Jackie, how'd you find it? Um, I really enjoyed it. I look, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of picturing your dad through a lot of that, and it got real weird there wow, for a second. Wow, intense. <laughs> yeah. He has put on a lot of weight in one night. <laughs> Is it the Mr. Whippy, or...? <laughs> I think it might be. Oh, no. no, it was a lot of fun. A lot of words that I haven't said in a long time. Yeah, Peloton, and I don't think I've ever said those. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Chris Nichols, a.k.a. my dad, for your suggestion. And we should give a shout-out to the Cross Apples, which I think is your dad's... Uh, biking group? Yes, hey, it may be, it may be indeed. Hello, Cross Apples. We <laughs> hope that you like what you're listening to. And uh, guys, if you want to donate, uh, give us a suggestion and you're not a family member, you can do that <laughs> as well. David Peake was amazing. Let's bring it home. We're all in my Do you know?